Okay, so this is how to install Android x86 in VMware Player. So first you want to download a copy of Android x86. So you want to go to android-x86.org and I'll drop that in the description below. And we want to click on download and let's just download it from FossHub. And we're looking to download this ISO file. So it's Android x86 64-bit ISO file. So just click on that and the download will start. And I'll come back when that's done. So our download has finished. What you want to do now is open up VMware Workstation Player. So I'm using VMware Workstation 15 Player. And you want to click on Create a New Virtual Machine. And under Install Operating System From, you want to select Use ISO Image and then you want to browse for where you downloaded the ISO file. So just click browse and mine is in downloads and here it is. So just click open and then just click, I will install the operating system later. So just click on that and click next. And it's a Linux operating system. And under version, you want to click on other Linux 4.x or later kernel 64 bit. So just click on that and just click next. And now we need to give our virtual machine a name. So let's just call it Android 8.1 Oreo. And now you can select the location. So I'm just going to leave this as the default, but you can change it to wherever you want to store your virtual machines and just click next. And now under the disk size options, I'm going to leave it as eight gigabytes and I'm just going to click on store virtual disk as a single file and then just click next. And now what we want to do is customize our hardware. So instead of clicking finish, just click customize hardware. And for memory, I'm going to give it two gigs. So 2048 and under processors, I'm just going to give it two. And then underneath display, we're going to click accelerate 3D graphics. And for graphics memory, you can leave it as the recommended, which is 768 megabytes, or you can increase it all the way up to three gigabytes but I'm just going to leave it as recommended. That should be more than enough. And now we're going to click on new CD. So just click on this option here and we want to use our ISO image. So let's just make sure that that's correct. And it is. And now we can just click close and now we can click finish and close again. So now we're ready to start up our virtual machine. So if you just right click on your virtual machine in the list and click power on, so now that we are in the live installation boot menu, what you want to do is come down to advanced options and hit enter and then scroll down to auto installation and hit enter again. And this is just informing us that it's going to erase everything on our virtual hard drive and install Android. So we want to say yes. And now we have the option to run Android or reboot. So I'm just going to say reboot and press enter. So that's just using the cursor keys to navigate these menus. Hit OK. And let's try and boot it now. So if we just hit enter on the first item. So we've got this blank screen here and Android isn't booting in VMware player. So what we need to do is actually close this. So we can just power this off and just click power off guest and yes and shut down. So there are a couple of modifications that we actually need to make before Android x86 will boot in VMware Player. So let's just reopen up VMware Player. And again, let's boot up our Android virtual machine. So let's just right click and power on. And what we want to do here, let me just get rid of this message, is you want to boot into debug mode. So just hit down and enter. and just wait until we get a prompt. So this is the prompt we're waiting for. So it's this Android prompt here. So what we're going to do is just make a slight modification to one of the items in our grub boot menu. And as we cannot see the file that we need to edit right now, what we need to do first is we need to type in mount dash O remount comma RW. So read, write. And we're going to mount that in slash MNT and just hit enter. 
So now that that's remounted, we want to CD into slash MNT and we want to CD into grub. And if we just LS, the file that we need to edit is menu.lst. So we're going to use vi to do that. So vi menu.lst, hit enter. And the item in this list that we're looking for is this one here. So this is the actual first item in our grub boot menu. And what we want to do is just go to the end of this line, hit A on your keyboard, and then the space bar once. So we've just put a space in there. And what we want to do is we want to add no mode set space X force VESA, so V-E-S-A. And now that that's done, just hit escape on your keyboard and you want to type a colon. So for me, that's shift and semicolon to get a colon. And you want to type WQ to write and quit. So now that that's done, we can just CD back to where we were. So just CD. And we don't really need to bother unmounting. So we can just reboot. So reboot dash F. So hit enter. And now if we boot our first item in our grub menu, Android should start booting. So now that we're in the first time boot setup for Android, all we need to do is just go through all of these settings. So first select your language. So I'm just going to select English and there it is and United Kingdom and click start. And we can skip the Wi-Fi bit. So just skip that and just click continue and set up the time and date. That's fine. So next set up your name and hit next. And I'm just going to turn off all of these extra Google services. So turn off location settings and just scroll down on this because there's more. So turn that off and just click I agree. And I'm not going to set this up. So just click no thanks. And now let's just set launcher three as our default launcher. So just click always and we're booted into Android. So what I'm going to do now is just make sure that we have networking set up. So you want to drag down from the top, just like any other Android machine. And click on settings. And then click on network and internet. And Wi-Fi. And you want to connect to this vert Wi-Fi network. So just click on that. And wait for it to connect and we're connected. So let's just click on home and test that. So let's just open up Chrome and just click accept and continue and no thanks. So let's just test this out. So just go to fast.com. Okay. So we've now got our Android 8.1 Oreo installed and working within VMware Workstation 15 player. And I actually did this with VirtualBox as well. And it looks like VMware players networking seems to be significantly faster than VirtualBox's. And I think this VM is slightly snappier. So let's just click home. So I recommend that you check out the video that I did installing Android 8.1 into VirtualBox as they're very different installation paths. And I think VirtualBox was probably easier than VMware Player, but it seems like VMware Player might actually perform slightly better. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. So one last thing, and that is how to shut down this VM properly. So if you click on Virtual Machine here, you want to send Control Alt Delete to the VM. So just click on that. And from the right hand side of the screen, you'll get this power off and restart widget. So just click power off and Android will start shutting down. So that's how to install Android 8.1 Oreo inside of VMware Workstation 15 player. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and comment on this video as it really helps out the channel a lot and subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching and goodbye.